likes of which the world has never seen. This is what we do. The most technologically advanced U.S. stealth bomber ever built is ready for launch. The B-21 Raider, touted as the world's first sixth-generation aircraft, has been developed with next-generation stealth technology, making it almost impossible to be detected by enemy radars. Its advanced integration of data, sensors, and weapons has been made possible through cloud computing and agile software development, which allows for continuous upgrades and improvements in technology and weapon systems without the need for block upgrades. Northrop Grumman claims that the B-21 Raider will have built-in hardware flexibility, similar to smartphones but more complex. The Air Force officially plans for roughly 100 new stealthy B-21 Raider bombers, yet for many years now, service leaders, experts, and observers have called for more than 200 of the new bombers. The cost of the B-21 is currently estimated at $753 million per copy, which may also fluctuate depending on the number of aircraft ordered. The affordability of the B-21 is highly dependent on the number of orders placed, and prices may increase if orders are reduced. Ideally, the Air Force plans to order 100 or more B-21s to maintain an advantage over adversaries such as China and Russia, whose air defense systems, such as the S-400 and S-500, have become increasingly sophisticated and dangerous. The Air Force hopes to evolve by changing threats by upgrading aircraft and mission systems that ultimately remain in front of. The B-21 is multifunctional, as it can handle anything from gathering intel to battle management, to integrating with our allies and partners that will work seamlessly across domains and theaters and across the joint force, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said last December at the unveiling of the new B-21. The B-1B and B-2 bombers are already several decades old, and the B-2 bomber effort was truncated early at only 20 aircraft, so there is much evidence to suggest that indeed the Air Force has been suffering a bomber deficit for many years. Many senior Air Force officials have for years maintained that the service's bomber fleet has been far too small and old to meet the demands of today's threat environment. The current global threat environment arguably presents a circumstance requiring a large bomber force capable of holding multiple areas around the world at risk as needed to ensure deterrence. The B-21 Raider is set to become the stealthiest aircraft ever and will be capable of delivering munitions, as well as gathering intelligence on enemy defenses and movements. This will make it a more efficient and effective platform compared to non-stealth alternatives, which may not be as survivable and could result in significant losses. As the first part of the nuclear triad to be modernized, the B-21 will play a critical role in maintaining security. It has been designed for adaptability with an open architecture, allowing for integration of future systems and weapons. While legacy platforms can remain viable and highly effective for years or even decades beyond their expected service lives, there are of course limits to just how much a 1980s-era platform can be upgraded. The need for the B-21 has long been established, as evidenced by comments from a former Air Force Global Strike Command commander as far back as 2018. Gen Robin Rand, who commanded the unit at that time, expressed concern about the massive drop in the service's bomber fleet size since the Gulf War. At the end of Desert Storm in 1991, we had 290 total bombers. Today that force has dropped to 157 bombers. That is a 46% decrease in our bomber force, while we have conducted continuous combat operations," Rand said in a 2018 Air Force statement. Rand and other Air Force leaders have for many years now said the service's existing bomber fleet is insufficient to meet the mission requirements and address emerging threats. Will the Pentagon ultimately stick with the 100 aircraft fleet size goal, or is the requirement destined to increase? It would not be at all surprising if the fleet requirements were massively expanded in the coming years. From a purely threat-driven perspective, there does appear to be a pressing or even urgent need for the B-21. The B-2 continues to be massively upgraded, with a 1,000-fold faster computer processor, defensive management system sensors to locate enemy air defenses, and the ability to drop the new B-61 Mod-12 nuclear bomb. However, advanced Russian and Chinese air defenses may be capable of potentially tracking stealth to some extent, and the B-21 is reported to introduce new, paradigm-changing developments in the realm of stealth technology. The aircraft is mysterious, and not much is known about its technology for obvious security reasons. Yet an ability to elude cutting-edge surveillance and engagement or targeting radar is clearly needed.
Regardless, the B-21 is here, and the test aircraft, unveiled in December of 2022, is reported to be one of six currently under production. A published Air Force report following the unveiling said each of the test aircraft is being built on the same production line, using the same tools, processes, and technicians who will build production aircraft. If you enjoyed content like this, please like and subscribe this video as I appreciate all your support.